Hey sis, long time no see huh? How's life treating you? Yeah, it's been ages. I'm doing okay. But let me guess, you're texting me because you finally have the decency to pay me back. Pay you back? For what? Don't play dumb with me. You know exactly what I'm talking about. How you robbed me of $5,000 from my savings account five years ago. How you vanished without a trace. And now you have the nerve to contact me out of nowhere. So I'm hoping that you're here to make things right. You've had half a decade to save up and repay me. You do have some cash for me, don't you? Sorry to burst your bubble, but no. There's no way I can give you back your money. You see, I blew it all up my favorite bar. I just couldn't get enough of their drinks. And before I knew it, the money was gone. It's a fancy place. I also have nothing in my savings account. You wasted $5,000 on booze? Are you out of your mind? Of all the things you could have done with that money, that's what you chose to do. Unbelievable. Relax. I'm off it now. Besides, I got kicked out of the bar, too. And how did that happen? Well, I threw a massive birthday bash there. The place is super pricey, and I got way too drunk and reckless. I knocked over a huge crate of expensive whiskey, and I wrecked the place. That's also how I burnt through the money so fast. They snapped my picture and banned me for life. It's kind of hilarious though, right? But I'm done with drinking, so I don't really care. Jesus, Kendall. What else have you done in these past five years? Do I even want to know? It sounds like you were a drunken mess every day and causing trouble. It's kind of pathetic when I think about it. It seems like you went down a dark road and lost your mind. At least tell me you have a job or something. LOL. It wasn't all drinking and chaos. I actually got married and I'm pregnant. I met my husband at the bar too. He was a regular, just like me. We fell madly in love and moved in together. Can you believe I'm having a baby soon? How did all of that happen in just five years? This is too much for me to process right now. Yeah, but I'm texting now because I'm in a bit of a bind. I'm about to pop this baby out and my husband Samuel is out of work. He used to work at a convenience store, but he got fired for stealing. Um, that's not good. But what does that have to do with me? We're broke and desperate. We can't afford next month's rent and I'm having a baby. That's why I was hoping you could do me a solid and let us crash at your place. Whoa, hold on. You can't just barge back into my life and expect me to do all that for you. Are you insane? You still owe me. I'm not asking for much. Just some money. And a roof over our heads. I try calling mom and dad, but they won't answer. I think they still pissed at me. I really have no other option. I need a place for us to stay. But something told me I could count on you. It was this gut feeling. So please? Well, you were wrong. Why would you think I would lift a finger to help you after what you did to me? You literally stole $5,000 from me and ran away. You know I'm younger than you, and I've made a lot of mistakes, but I've changed. I'm your little sister. I need your help. Can you at least talk to mom and dad for me? 
I gotta go now. Two weeks later. You're Kendall's older sister, Callie, right? Did you talk to your parents about our situation? Ah, uh, what situation? We're getting evicted from our apartment. We couldn't pay the rent for the second month in a row, and the landlord is furious. Can you please get us some help? Who are you? I'm Kendall's husband, Samuel. She gave me your number. I'm your brother-in-law, in case you forgot. Uh, okay. Yeah, Kendall mentioned you. I know about everything that Kendall did five years ago and how she took $5,000 from your savings account. I know that's a lot. But she's changed now. Just forgive her already and help us out. We're both going to be parents soon and we need your help. We can't have a baby if we're homeless and broke. Even if you say that, I can't just forgive her for what she did to me. She betrayed me and stole the money that I earned. I'm not going to let a thief and a stranger live in my house, especially when you got fired for stealing too. I'm not going to drag our parents into this either. How can you be so heartless? Kendall is your sister, not a criminal. If you're family, then you should have some compassion for her. No, you have no idea what I suffered when she took my money. I don't consider Kendall as family. She didn't just steal $5,000 from me. She's a liar and a leech and she's done so many bad things to me since we were kids. She also hurt our parents. She was addicted to alcohol, drugs, and partying all the time. We tried so hard to help her, but she didn't care. She caused us so much trouble and she knows better. But she's not like that anymore. She's totally different after talking to you a bit. You're a terrible and selfish sister. You're her family. Why are you blaming me? I'm the victim. Kendall is doing what she always does. Begging for money. I don't see any change in her at all. Family doesn't steal money from you, then run away and then come back asking for more without saying sorry. I'm not going to forgive her and I'm done with her drama. You need to let go of the past. Move on. Kendall was right about you. You're nothing but a greedy and selfish person. All you care about is money. What? She's saying those things and expects me to help her? Believe me. Kendall has told me everything about you. Don't you work for a big and successful company? We know that you make a lot of money and have plenty of cash. You're so cheap that you won't even help your own family in need. My income and my job are none of your concern. I worked really hard to get where I am and I don't have to help anyone just because I make more money. You're wrong. It is these are concern. People who make more money should help those who are less fortunate. That's why people are suffering. Because of greedy people like you. What happened to kindness and generosity these days? You're the only person we can count on right now. Why can't you just lend us some money and let us stay with you for a while? You won't even notice a difference in your bank account. How can you deny your pregnant sister help? First of all, you were the one that's going to be a father. You got your wife pregnant and chose to have a baby knowing how much it costs. You should look for another job and find a way to support your own family. You both should have prepared yourselves if you were going to be parents. See, this is your problem. All you do is tell others what to do. You actually have the money and power to help us but choose to lecture us instead. God, I haven't even met you and I already hate you. Oh, the feeling is mutual. You didn't exactly give a nice first impression. 
I haven't even met you and you are begging me to give you and Kendall money and a place to stay. That's enough. I don't need to hear criticism from a disgusting and selfish woman. I guess we will just have to go and convince your parents in person then by ourselves. One week later. Finally. Starting today, we'll be roommates. What did you just say? Mom and Dad are allowing me to live with you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Plus, didn't you tell them recently that you've been so busy at work that you're really home anyways? Well, perfect timing because I'll be moving in. We all met and talked. Now you're going to help provide for us. Hold on a second. Why the hell did they decide that without talking to me first? And who gave them the right to decide anything? I'd worry less about that, more about getting home soon and cleaning up this mess. No way. You're in my house. How did you get in? Doesn't matter. Just a little lock picking. Anyway, it's been five years. We have so much to talk about. We also need to do some upgrades, because your sense of style is still crap. I'm so excited to be living together with you again. Though it won't be like the old days. My baby is grateful to you too. This is gonna be fun. Kendall, I need you to get the hell out of my house. Why do you think that something like this is okay without my permission? You are nothing but an intruder right now. What are you saying? I'm your sister. Mom and Dad said it was okay for me to move in with you. So I took that as my invitation. I'm surprised they suggested that too. They did mention something about asking you first. But I knew you would just let me, so I helped myself. Mom and Dad were happy to see me. So you were supposed to talk to me first, but you just lockpicked your way into my house? You were so unbelievable. I'm leaving work and I'll be home soon. I need you gone before I get back. I would like to see you try and get rid of me. Sorry, not sorry, but I'm here to stay. You won't ever be able to get rid of me. I have nowhere else to go. Your house is all that I have. What do you mean? It's my house and I don't want you there. I'm gonna head out and grab some groceries and other stuff for the house. I took the money from the box in your closet and helped myself. Oh, and give us the master bedroom. I think it's fair that Samuel and I get that room, since there will soon be three of us and only one of you. Actually, how about you get the hell out of this house and let us have it? You can easily buy another one with all the money you make. What are you even talking about? You have lost your mind. Hurry up and get all your stuff out of the house. This house is mine now. I also already took care of some of your stuff anyway. You need to stop this right now. That is not how things work. You are so selfish. Do you think you can just take the house that I worked hard to buy? And how dare you touch my stuff? Too late. Most of it is already outside and ready to be taken to the dump. This house is mine. Looks like I stole your savings and your house. Sorry. Wait, which house are you even at? You do know that I moved three years ago, right? Huh? Yeah, I have a new house. You are in my new house, right? Not my old one. I don't think I ever told you that I moved away. If you're in my old house then you were in huge trouble. No. I didn't know about that. You really moved three years ago. Then the stuff I threw outside isn't yours? You're just messing with me, right? 
Why didn't mom and dad tell me? What the hell is going on? Explain this to me. I think they just assumed you already knew. If you went to my old house then you are in someone else's house right now. Really? I'm currently renting out that old house to a nice family. This is actually kind of funny. Looks like you're in big trouble. Talk about instant karma. What? This isn't funny at all. I'm really in some random person's house. That's right. You broke into some random person's house, stole their money and took their stuff. You really are a criminal. No, this has to be a prank. I'm sure you wish it was. If I were you, I would start putting all this stuff right back where it was. And don't forget about the money. Oh my gosh. I did just take a bunch of money that was in their closet, but I already spent it. Where do you live right now? Why is this happening to me? Do you still live nearby? I actually live quite far. I'm in San Francisco, so like eight-ish hours away. San Francisco? Oh, that's so far. This all happened three years ago. You know, during that time you stole my money and ran away. It was a good opportunity for me. I got a generous raise, a better job, and a fresh new location. No? How could you do this? You no longer live close to me, and I have nowhere to go. Now I have to fix everything before the real owners get back. How am I going to fix everything before they come back? I hope they don't notice their money is gone. Serves you right. I hope you start learning from your mistakes. I already called the police on you, so you can just wait. You don't have to do anything. You want? Of course. I would have still called them on you even if it was still my house. You have done enough. Now you should compose yourself and be prepared to explain what you have done. The police will be there in a couple of minutes. No. How could you do this to me? This can't be true. Why would you actually call the police on your own, sister? You know that I struggle and have issues. Aren't you worried that I'll be going to jail while pregnant? I'm hoping that they arrest you. Stop blaming all the bad things that you do on your struggles. You're going to be a mother soon. It is your fault for acting like a criminal. Now calm down and be ready to answer some questions. I hope you learn from this. Two weeks later. What am I going to do? I have nowhere to live and you're so far away. Huh? Did you not get arrested? What a shame. It has been two weeks since I heard from you. What happened? You have no idea what it's like. It turns out I actually used to know the people who lived in that house. It was so embarrassing to explain everything. They were pissed. Even though we're old friends, they still took me to court. They told everyone about it and now I'm being bullied. So what? You are seriously lucky. You should be thanking them for not putting you behind bars. How did the court case go? They took me to small claims court. I have to pay them two grand. I stole the 500 bucks from the box they had in the closet. And I might have stolen a lot of money from them in the past too. How am I supposed to come up with two grand right now? My life is over. They could have at least let me go. Couldn't they see I was pregnant? What? You stole from them back in the day as well. 
You were a piece of work, Kendall. They were right to take you to small claims. I am sure they just did that instead. Because you were pregnant and didn't want you to be in jail. It's not like I took that much money in the grand scheme of things. And I was planning on paying them back, but I just never had the right chance. I just didn't have the money and didn't want to work. So I just forgot about it. Kendall, you are seriously the worst person ever. You know that I have problems with alcohol and going to bars and clubs. I just kept borrowing more and more money. I ended up getting kicked out of the dorm. And I decided that college wasn't for me anyways. So that's why you dropped out of school? I always wondered. Get some help, Kendall. Stop blaming the people around you and telling them you have issues. If you know you have issues then go go and get help. You are an adult. You are lucky I was able to get my savings back quickly by working hard at my job. However, I still want my money back too. You already have so much money. Can't you just lend me the money to pay off the two grand they charged me? Are you serious? This is your punishment, not mine. I'll give it back one day. Just please help me. Mom and Dad won't even help me. Who am I supposed to rely on? For my baby's sake, send me the money. And why do you think Mom and Dad won't help you? I talked to Mom and Dad and they are livid. Not only did they not tell you to move into my house. You stole their iPad while you were there. And that's on top of stealing Mom's wedding ring and Dad's watch back in the day before you dropped out of college without telling them. So yeah, they don't want to help you. You have done horrible things to us. We are done trying to help you. Can you just forget about the past for a damn second? No, you messed up big time, Kendall. You did this all to yourself and it is up to you to get out of it. I'm cutting ties with you for good. What? What about my baby? Do you really not care about me at all? I'm your sister. How could you just cut ties with me? Does being family mean nothing to you? We're blood. Work hard and fix this yourself. Good luck raising your baby. I hope you change your ways for the sake of your baby. Right now, I'm just done with you. Goodbye. Two hours later. Why the hell won't you just help us? It is all your fault. Kendall and I are in this position right now. You and your parents are pathetic and selfish people for cutting her off. Do you think that I care what you think? Shut up. You have the power and the money to help us. If you ended up being so cruel to your own sister. We did nothing wrong and Kendall is not a criminal. Stop being a damn fool and look at the reality of things. You keep asking someone else for help and you are fully capable of getting another job and working to support yourself and your soon-to-be family. Also, Kendall has done nothing but backstab her own friends and family. You both also entered a home without permission and stole from them. That's the definition of being a criminal. So what? Why should we still have to owe you $5,000 and those dumb college students another $2,000 when we are already struggling? That's a total of $7,000. I don't have a job. I also don't have any money saved. There is no one willing to help us. You are the only one who will even talk to us. Yeah, and I'm regretting even doing that much. Believe me. In fact, I'm going to block your number now so that I don't have to deal with this anymore. But why? 
We need you. I just really wonder what type of man my sister married if he isn't even capable of finding a simple job. Also, from what you're telling me, I'm assuming your parents don't care to help you either. I wonder why you say no one else will help you. Are you just like Kendall and have no friends? I haven't even met you in person. And all of these things are alarming to me. What have you done to make no one want to help you either? Shut up. You're such a trashy person. I know that your family cut you off too. It would make sense for my sister to marry someone like you. You two really suit each other. What is wrong with you? This is all so uncalled for. I'm holding back my anger for the sake of Kendall and our baby. To at least get something out of you. Kendall and I are just not meant for the working life. There is no point in us getting a job. So just help us. If you really want to support Kendall and your future child, then stop begging other people for money and get a proper job. Not meant for the working life. That is the most ridiculous excuse I've ever heard. Can't you just try and get a full-time job? There are kids in high school working right now and you are in your 30s. Take some responsibility for your own actions. You don't understand because you're a part of the upper class. I have a solution for you. I did some research on who you are. I contacted your parents out of curiosity. You stole their credit cards several times and put them in debt for a couple of years. They kicked you out because you couldn't be trusted at home. And you are an adult that should be living on their own anyway. How dare you? You seriously contacted my parents? Yes, you stole so much money from them that it makes what Kendall did to me and my family look like nothing. However, your father has a solution for your situation, but he knows you won't do it. He is a very successful person and is amazing. How could they hold all of that against me after all these years? And my father is not an amazing person. But what is the solution you're talking about? Is he willing to give me some money? I bet not. I have a wife and a baby on the way. Can you people show some mercy? Yeah, he is actually willing to give you the money you need to support yourself and your family. You just have to work hard for it. He is willing to give you a generous paying job at his company. Kendall can work there too once the baby is born. Work under him? Is that old man serious? He knows I hate working. He should just hand over some money. You have options. You just want to be lazy. If you both work hard, you can live comfortably. I told your father that I would tell you about his offer before I block your number. Begging people for money is going to get you nowhere in life. Just shut up. You rich people just want to suck the life out of people instead of showing a little selflessness. I'm not working. You are impossible. Don't you realize I'm still talking to you? Because I am actually worried for your baby. You're going to be a father. There is an easy solution right in front of you to get your lives on track. Go to hell. I can just make some friends and steal from them like I always have. You are just as crazy as my sister. Help is right in front of you and you won't even take it because you are too lazy. You don't know anything. You and my parents have no idea what things have been like for Kendall and me lately. My whole life they told me to study and work and it was never ending. I hate working and studying. So I won't. I'll hurt people if I have to. You sound like a kid having a temper tantrum. You are the lowest of the low. You are blinded by your own greed. You wouldn't even notice a couple thousand missing from your account. 
My life is going to be a complete mess because of you. Aren't you the one who decided to have a baby? You should have been ready in advance to take care of one. Having a child is a lot of responsibility. I shouldn't have to work if I don't want to. I'll figure out where you live and take what I can. Our child is going to be born in a month or so. And you are still refusing to give us money. How can you be so cold-hearted? Then I'll have no choice. I'm going to press charges against you and my sister in court. Please, don't you know we're not good for it? We're the ones who need money now. Too bad. You both need to make up for all the things you have done. You just keep making excuses. I will also be bringing up the baby in court because I don't think you two will be suitable as parents. Stealing and hurting people is sickening. You can't raise a child under these conditions. Just stop. Please don't take our child too. You both disgust me. You are the ones who are selfish. Going around asking the people you stole from for more money. I hope you'll learn a lesson once and for all after I take you both to court. I will be using our messages as proof. So what will it be? Last chance. Will you work under your father and turn things around or go to court with me? Please don't take us to court. You know we can't afford it. Please, I can change. Then shut up and take your father's offer. I can only pray that your child will end up being okay under your care. Are you ready to be serious about this? Because I'm just about done here. Yes, fine, yes. I'll get the job and slowly pay you back. We both will. Just don't take our baby. I'm sorry for everything. The fear of losing his baby compelled Samuel to drive to his parents' house and plead for a job. And it turned out to be a fortunate decision because his family was prepared to sue him, just like I was prepared to sue Kendall. I was utterly disgusted when I discovered the living conditions Kendall was in. However, now I have a glimmer of hope. Samuel secured a job at his father's company, and once the baby is old enough, Kendall will join him. The threat of losing their baby served as a wake-up call for them. They still possess a shred of humanity, but they have a significant amount of debt to repay. They will have to work diligently to make amends for their mistakes. They are finally making an effort to become better individuals and take responsibility for their actions. To be honest, I feel relieved. I may have acted tough, but deep down, I was genuinely concerned for them. I just hope they transform into responsible parents. 